Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Austin Hass. Uh, I'm a drummer. You mostly know me from all my performance videos, but uh, today I thought I'd do a talking video because uh, I had a bunch of recordings uh, that I did the other day and I had both my kits out, so I thought it'd be a good time to compare the two. Uh, the uh, kit here on the left is a Gretsch Catalina Club Jazz, and the kit here on the right is a Natal Cafe Racer. Um, so the main differences between these kits um, are the price. I think I paid like $670 for the four-piece shell pack on the Gret uh, the Gretsch, and the three-piece shell pack for the Natal was $1,100. Uh, so quite a bit uh, different. Uh, the Natal is twice as much, and you get one less drum. So I thought it'd be neat to kind of compare uh, an ABM and see what uh, you know if that price really means anything. Uh, so some of the similarities: the sizes are identical. So we got 8 by 12 rack. 14-14 uh, floor tom, and then 14 by 18 inch kick drum. Uh, both drums have uh, Remo coated ambassador drum heads, top and bottom, uh, including the, the kick drums. And I got felt strips on the front and back of the bass, uh, the bass drum heads, uh, just to muffle them. I upgraded the hoops uh, originally on this Gretsch kit. They came with like 1.6, really thin, 1.6 millimeter hoops. So I bought some 2.3 millimeter hoops, um, kind of like equivalent like the Pearl Super Hoop or something like that. Um, and so both kits both have 2.3 millimeter hoops. Um, and that's kind of it for similarities. Uh, there are a number of differences. Um, obviously one, this was a four piece shell pack and this was just a three piece. Uh, the rack tom on the Gretsch has five lugs. The rack tom on the hall has uh, six lugs. Um, the bass drum, on the Gretsch is, uh, has a, a mount in it, and the, uh, the tall bass drum is a virgin bass drum, so there's no holes for mounting equipment anywhere. Um, the Gretsch kit is a wrap kit. You can see it's a white marine pearl, which I think this was the last... I bought this right before they discontinued the, the wrap version of these kits. Um, and then this kit is a lacquer, um, I think. It's like a matte finish. Um, the hardware on the uh, Natal is quite a bit uh, heavier duty. Um, you know, die cast uh, lugs. Uh, so the, and the, the bass drum spurs are quite a bit beefier. Um, so these drums are actually quite heavy uh, compared to these ones. Um, so I, I typically use this uh, set to gig with because it uh, is easier to move around. And the wrap, I kind of like that it uh, is like a built-in protection for the shell, so I don't really worry about it getting marred up. The bearing edges are different on these kits. Uh, the Gretsch has 30 degree bearing edges, um, and then a tall kit has 45 degree bearing edges. I believe the shell uh, interior of the shells of these are not finished, where these are finished. Um, with like a coating or something like that. The, the materials the drums are made out of are quite a bit different. Uh, this is a Asian mahogany, I believe. And these are made out of tulip wood, which is a uh, less common material. But they, uh, the company Natal compares it to kind of a buttery, smooth sound similar to maple. Uh, apart from all those differences, I like both kits a lot. Um, this Natal I prefer to record with. But I've made great recordings with this kit as well, and I, you know, I, I'm obviously fine with gigging with either one. This is just easier again because it's lighter weight. So I'll, uh, I'll hit the drums a bit. Um, I'm gonna try to just tune them by ear as similarly as possible, um, top and the bottom heads, um, and I'll, I'll hit each individual drum um, and just do a little bit of soloing, playing some time, things like that. Uh, uh, and I will also just be recording using my Zoom uh, Q2N4K. It has two uh, stereo microphones uh, pointed at the drums. Um, that way you can get kind of just a very natural um, in the room sound rather than close miking everything and trying to, you know, EQ the drums. I'm just going to give you raw audio and uh, hopefully that gives you a good uh, idea of what they sound like. And uh, you can just tell me whether you uh, hear a difference or not and whether the uh, $1,100 price point for this Natal kit is worth it over the uh, $670 price point for the four-piece uh, Catalina Club. All right, enjoy.
All right, and that's the comparison. Uh, in my opinion, I still think the Natal drums do sound a lot higher quality. Um, maybe not double the price uh, higher quality, but I can definitely hear a difference. So uh, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching. Take care.